to you. So you're so. gonna bring them your problems. So you just basically said to them like, hey, I appreciate what you've done. I'm gonna bring you more problems. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. New day. Almost the weekend. It is. It's Friday, you guys. It's almost the weekend. I can feel it. I'm so excited because that means one big thing. My guy is coming home. Coming home tomorrow. I can't wait to see him. He texted me last night. He's just like, I've been checking on him every day. How's it going? He goes, mom, this is so awesome. They have been sending videos of them playing video games. They decided with one of their roommates, they were going to combine all the beds. So we're just having a giant sleepover, having so much fun. He's living it up. And I'm like, it's so crazy. That you can just be 14 years old, off staying for a week by yourself with other 14 and 15 year olds. They're just having the best time ever. So Stephanie and I are going to be going on a little bit of a girls trip, if you will. We're going to go pick up the boys. The problem is they have to be picked up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. They live two hours away. So I don't want to get up at 4.30 to get ready to leave at five. So we decided let's make a night of it. We're gonna go stay up in Logan, let's have some fun, do some shopping, which I did last night. That's fine. We're gonna go have some fun and have a great time. Yeah. Hazy's gonna hang out here. We're trying to see if cousin Ava can come over, huh? Yes. Stephanie's gonna drive. We have an update on my car. I'll give that to you guys a little bit later. Yeah, stick around. But the forecast for the next week, we just pulled up and it is like high 90s, looking amazing, which is awesome because this cutie is having a pool party next week to celebrate her birthday. I'm so excited. We got a shipment yesterday of all of her party stuff. You guys, it is so cute. She is doing like a tutti frutti theme, which I've seen a lot of people do for like two year olds, but you know what? We're doing it for an eight year old. She's made a list. Oh, did you yeah, color so a picture of the glasses? Uh-huh, so this is the glasses. They're little lemons, mm -hmm. and so she colored a picture of them. Yeah. Good job. So we have lots of stuff to put in our goodie bags. I know. Last week I saw we talked a lot about parties. We've been talking a lot about birthdays and parties in general, but we ordered all of the stuff for Hazy's birthday, all the stuff for Cruz's birthday, and Hazy is so excited. She can hardly stand it. Invitations went out. Weather is looking prime. I think she's invited like 16 or 17 little girls, to which that immediately prompts my thought. That's a lot of little kids to watch. Don't you worry. I'm on the ball, I hired a lifeguard to sit and watch the kids. And I just decided if we're ever having a big party, that's going to be something I'm going to do. So hired a lifeguard, good friend of mine, her son's gonna come help us out and I'm so excited. We're gonna be ready for the birthday party, but we're going into perfect weather week, making the kids take a break today. They've been in the sun a lot. And so we're gonna take a break today. Hazy, she just ran up while I was talking to you guys. She has made a list of everything that yeah. is going in the goodie bag. So glasses, mini erasers, floats for like floaties, squishies, plates, plates, napkins, suckers, and bags for the mini erasers. Yeah, so you guys, she is planning every detail of it. We'll also show you guys that a little bit later, but she yeah. is real excited. Well, if Ava's gonna come over, you need to get dressed and ready, so let's go transform you. Okay, oh. let's start spinning. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now you're ready. It didn't work. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> okay. I got these squishies for my birthday party, and this is a lemon, pineapple, watermelon, banana, strawberry, and peach. And we got sunglasses, napkins that are fruits, these plates, these erasers, there's 300, all these cute little erasers. And they're all in the shapes of fruit? Oh yeah. My goodness. Think of pineapple floating. So here's the pineapple. Remember when we had that one in California at that one house? I love oh, that. Yeah. That was so fun. Yeah, these are heavy. Got the watermelon. Oh, and then I got these floaties. Pack of floaties yeah. But, but like they're round. Watermelon, tangerine, yeah. lime, kiwi. Look how hazy girl. Also, these are the towels that we're gonna give. All of your party decorations are making me hungry. Should we go see what mom's cooking in the kitchen? Uh huh. One thing I will never get sick of is cooking in this kitchen. I am so excited today when I saw that HelloFresh box on my porch. You guys were so excited to be partnering with them. We love, love, love their food like crazy. We're gonna be making up a yummy dinner tonight, but if you guys wanna get started, you probably already know the drill. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code TIHWB50 to get 50% off plus free shipping. It's still of a deal. We love their food. It's so good. Our kids love it every single time. It makes me look like a rock star. We're gonna make something awesome today. We have three choices. Brandon, you help me? Two yes. pork bowls. Cheated a little bit. I have a confession. All right. I took things out of the box, put them in the fridge. I saw that sitting on the top and you can tell me about the other ones, but I immediately want that one. Okay. My confession is I already put these ingredients right there. Oh. <laughs> so you already knew. We're on the same Maybe page. because I texted you a picture of that recipe and freaked out. Yes. I love Mushu pork. So Brandon anyways. does. Okay. So Mushu pork bowls. These are so yummy and I love these because it's not something I would typically pull out of a recipe book and make. I always love You've them. never made them in our marriage, so this is going to be a first right I here know. in this kitchen. I'm 
<laughs> Hello this Fresh one. style. This one looks yummy. Southwest beef cavatappi. Cavatappi. I don't know. I'm not. Is that I, how you say it? I mean, we've got some exotic choices. This I don't know. This I'm one looks it. really good though. <laughs> I love those spiral noodles. And last but not least, cheap Ooh. pan Dijon onion crunch chicken. Ooh. I always love these little combos. This is so good. Okay, while these are both great contenders, we are going to go with maybe the for first another time. Award winning Today, though. sushi pork bowls. <laughs> We always love these individually pre-portioned packages of ingredients here. It's just exactly what you need for the recipe and nothing more. So there is absolutely no waste. It's also just smart because we don't get like a giant tub of hoisin sauce. We're not gonna be using hoisin sauce all the time, but I would really love to have this recipe. Mom can make this, not have a jug of leftover hoisin sauce that will never get used or even the sweet Thai chili sauce. I absolutely love this sauce, but not enough to buy in a huge bottle's worth. So you get just what you need, small little packages. <laughs> They're kind of adorable, little sesame seeds here. That way you're consuming it all, you're you're wasting nothing. And if that didn't make it easy enough, it comes with simple step-by-step -step instructions that let even the most novice chef like myself bust out a delicious meal. About to throw this cabbage in and what's really cool is it is peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes it so you get the freshest produce possible. It goes from farm to door in less than seven days. This looks fresh, it smells fresh. Yeah. Always tastes fresh. I mean I know that sounds I know. like a cheesy tagline, I know. It's but like, it's honestly, hello, it's, fresh. it's so true though. It's like a fact. <laughs> I know. Heard the saying, you can't have it all. Well, that's exactly what HelloFresh wants to give you. They want you to have it all free time and fresh and tasty food. That's why they take care of all the meal planning, deliver the ingredients right to your door so everything you need to whip up a delicious meal is literally sent right to you. You can have it all, time, tasty food. Not only that, HelloFresh gets you options when it comes to what to make for dinner. It's not the same old thing over and over. That's why they've got 40 different recipes every single week to choose from. Never get bored. You can always find something new to try and love. Smells amazing. I wish I could invite you all over for dinner, but since we don't have time for that, I'm just gonna tell you this is so good. With quality protein, fresh produce, plans for every single lifestyle, there is no wonder that HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. It is so good. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use code TIHWB50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Check it out, make your summer easier. You're going to love it. Wait. Come into my car. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I was hope, looking for the sauna. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hope you're not staying for long because this one has a built-in sauna function mm. that we typically use if you've been driving Activated. for an hour and a half. Interesting. So it's like, yeah, you've got the seat massager. So it's like a full spa package, really, anytime you go anywhere in this car. If you book a massage for an hour or more, you will be treated to a free sauna treatment. Mindy, that's actually pretty good. I'll let Mindy explain kind of what's going down. But I'll just give a quick background context, even though I wasn't there. Mom took the brand new, beautiful beast of a Rhonda on her girls Rhonda. camp adventure down south, couple hour drive, three hour drive, whatever it was. At around the hour, 20 minute mark, the AC starts fading. It goes out in the front, eventually goes out in the back. It gets really, really hot. Never comes back on as cool. When they drive home, it's working until you hit about the hour something mark, right? Yes, it yes. Out again, goes out again. So take it into the dealership. I don't want to like <laughs> be too mean, <laughs> but they do absolutely nothing. <laughs> they keep yeah. it for three days and then lie and I say they needed free on. Well, I did question <laughs> the guy and I said, so it says here in the report that you turned the car on and it was working. He goes, oh yeah, that was after our assessment. Uh, yes. in, in defense of, I guess, I don't know, their laziness, it would be hard to troubleshoot because it doesn't happen until you've been driving for like over an hour straight. Correct. So when you turn it on just from cold, it comes on cold. The AC comes on. Yeah, the and AC it works fine. totally works fine. So, so we thought, oh my gosh, it's fixed. We are well, so I don't know that we did. Grateful. Honestly, we walked out of it and I think I have on camera mom saying, I don't believe that they did anything. Oh, so we weren't cool. sure anything was fixed, but we just figured that's all it was, then that's great. So let's pile in and just go take Ragai to Logan. It's a two hour drive. And It'll be a lot of fun. It's supposed to be 103, but it's all right because we have a brand new car and so obviously it's going to have air conditioning. We piled in the car, went to Logan, and in that vlog, I said a couple of times jokingly, AC seems to be working great. Like, haha, of course it is. Shortly after that, it went out and yeah. it got a little bit toasty. realize it's not fixed. 
still have some issues going on with the AC. More likely in my mind something technological, like not necessarily because it's a brand new car, like not a part that's gone bad because it's too new. So in my mind, I'm like, it's gotta be some weird setting in this gigantic TV screen that somebody bumped that says like, oh, for efficiency's sake, let's have the AC cut off after an hour. So we tweaked every setting, went through everything you possibly could on this screen here. There wasn't anything that we could see inside of like the tech that was causing the problem. So yesterday, brings us up to yesterday. What did we find out yesterday? What happened yesterday? We actually went to a different dealership, one that had been recommended to me by Stephanie's dad. First of all, they came and picked up my car, which was awesome. And I didn't have to take it in. Called them and I said, I would really like to give you a detailed step-by-step -step process of what the actual problem is. He said, because number one, when you go to turn it on, the AC is going to work. You're going to go, this lady's crazy. Her AC works fine. Cause it does when you first get in the car. Yes. And it will, unless he takes it on an hour and a half test drive. Yes. I explained step-by-step step what has happened. And he goes, I'm really grateful that you explained that because it is likely that we would have turned on your car on. It's working perfectly fine. A couple hours went by. They gave me a phone call. It said, we just had our AC specialist look at your car. He couldn't see anything wrong with it. He said, I have some good and bad news for you. He said, the good news is we found out what's wrong. That's huge. That's it's amazing. huge. Discover the problem. Yes. So how do we fix it? What do we do? What's the solution? So what is happening is the evaporator on my car is freezing up. If your AC runs too hard, it freezes up, well then it has to thaw before it can work properly again. He said that he had called Ford, figured out exactly what's going on, and they said we've actually seen this problem in a number of the new cars. Bad news is there is no fix for this problem. Oh, so we found out what's wrong, we know how to fix it, but there is no solution? Yes, <laughs> okay. right, I know, Interesting. it sounds kind of crazy, but he said the problem is so new, it's not necessarily a recall because not every car is having this problem. He says it's just select cars that are having this problem, so he's like, we have replace the evaporator with a different evaporator. I hope that's the right word. Pretty positive it is. It's still having the same problem. So he's like, car company needs to make different version of the evaporator for it to work properly. He's like, put me on it every month. Call me every month and check and see if there's a new part for your car. But other than that, he says, I am so sorry. I don't have a solution for you. They were amazing. And they were kind. I will definitely be going back to that dealership. I love the fact that that all happened in like a few hours. So, so awesome. not to really, this isn't like to rag on one dealership over the other, but the one took it for three days and didn't do anything. Fake like they looked at the Freon or something. The other one came and picked it up, took it, serviced it, called you, gave you the detailed rundown of what's going on, problem shot it, and had it returned to you all in the same day. So yes. I gotta and tell I, you, I did that was take great. the time. Like this has been such a great experience. I will definitely be back and bring all of my car problems, services, everything to you. So you're so. gonna bring them your problems. So you just basically said to them, like, hey, I appreciate what you've done. I'm gonna bring you more problems. That's actually I'll nice. Let of him you. change That's the nice. oil. That is the latest and greatest you guys we discovered. We found out what problem. It's definitely worse than we thought. It's worse than we anticipated because we thought it would just be something you could tap with a hammer twice and it would come back to working just fine because that's how it usually works. I know. Uh, this time, not going to be the case. I don't know. Mindy's supposed to go to get Rag Eye in a little bit, but to take off. So yes. Stephanie's probably going to drive there. Stephanie is that the plan? Stephanie's going okay. to drive because then we know we will have AC. Because we also have a very epic, fun family vacation adventure that involves really, really, really hot weather and some time in the car. Without giving away too much, you definitely need AC. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out exactly what that looks like. We did learn some hacks along the way. You can do things like if you pull over to get gas and grab a snack, it will usually thaw the amount that it needs to to have the AC kick back on again. As long as you wait like a few minutes. I don't know. Anyways. I'm not going to say no to road trip snacks. It just means you can take a little bit longer making yeah. selections. So that's great. <laughs> You guys are set to go pick up Riley right yeah. now. Take it in Steph's car. In fact, she should be here any minute. Yeah, she's gonna be here any second. I don't know how much you've detailed this. You're going there, spend the night in a hotel, wake up very early in the morning, get Riley. Oh, yeah, we still have to wake up at like six. Two hour drive, pick up is at seven, so you'd be leaving here at 5 a.m. if you didn't do this idea. So I think it's a fun idea. I'm gonna hang here. Kids are off playing with friends. I do have Hazy with me here. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog in this day. And then you guys, the next time you see mom, she will be with Riley picking him I'm up. So, so that's excited. pretty exciting. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.